Hello you guys, welcome to another cooking class. Today I'll be showing you how I cook potatoes with soy chorizo. In Spanish we say papas con chorizo. But before we begin, I would like to share with you a Bible verse. And it says in the book of 1 Corinthians 3, 16, it says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man, says in verse 17, if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. So we have a belief that we are the temple because the Bible tells us. And so we are given instructions or a manual, which is the Holy Bible, to, get, to tell us how we eat and what things we're not supposed to eat. If you were to make a regular papas con chorizo, potatoes with chorizo. They will make the chorizo with pork and other body parts of the animals. But see, the Bible tells us that we're not supposed to eat unclean animals like pig. But see, so then we just submit ourselves to the Lord as He teaches us and we understand to eat things that are healthier. Like for example, this soy chorizo, which has no animal products at all. And it's way better than if you were to eat the pork chorizo or beef chorizo. So that is the reason why we like we eat. So let us begin. So first of all, I want to show you the potatoes I have here. And they're organic. And this kinds of potatoes, as you can see, this one is an organic gold potato. And this is what I'm going to be using today. And then the other brand, so you have an option. What do you want to do? Of course, I always recommend the best to eat organic, free of pesticides. And only the Lord knows what else free we're getting. All those evil things that come in the GMO harvest of different kinds of foods. So here I have uh, an organic russet potatoes. These are my favorite, honestly. But today I'm going to be using the organic gold potatoes. And what I'm going to do is, you could say, wow, what a big deal. Potatoes and soy chorizo. Anybody can do that. Well, could you make it with the option oil-free? Oh. Could you make it with the option of not frying them or deep frying them? So, for that reason, I have here my little handy-dandy little steamer which I'm going to steam the potatoes after they're cut and wa they're cut and washed and I'm going to steam them and after they're steamed then I'm going to cook the chorizo because yes it does have the soy chorizo it has vinegar I wish it didn't have vinegar but I have to cook it so the the soy chorizo may the vinegar and the soy chorizo may die in there and we don't have any of those effects that the vinegar brings. So let us go ahead and start. Yes, you do need a steamer. Or if you could just buy one of those little tiny baskets and you put it in a regular pot and put a lid on it, you will have the same effect. So let us begin. So here I have about five potatoes. And you want to do as much as fits into your little basket. If you have a bigger steamer, then you do much potatoes. If you have a smaller, then you do as much as you think will fit in the steamer. Now, um, so what you do is you rinse them, and either you could peel them, or just take out some of these portions that are like sprouted with the edge of the peeler. Or you could just peel it like that now this gold potatoes of course I already said they're organic but they're um, the skin is softer than the raw set so normally you just don't peel them off unless you choose to or sometimes what I do to keep some of the skin I do a portion of it like I do layers like that like strips Because I heard they say that um, that the, most of the nutrition is in the skin. 
And I want to talk about something about, uh, in case you were wondering, the name of this YouTube, the name of this YouTube channel is KJB Bible Stories, and the reason was, you may say, what an awkward name because, well, I have a bunch of stuff in there, you know. As you can see, I have vegan cooking classes, and um, it started out by doing Bible studies for, for I believe it was for children first. Was it for children only, husband? Yes. And then, uh, and as you can see, you can look at all the other videos that I had used a felt board. And then it got to Spanish studies, and then English studies, and then we also have some studies that are bilingual, Spanish and English. And I also decided to do cooking classes. Now, I am not a chef, but I teach as far as I know. So there's a little bit of the story of that. So let's go ahead and cut our potatoes. And you want about the same size of what I did in the butternut squash, like about this size, like about an inch or so. If you see something that you don't like, you just cut it off. But that's basically how it goes. And you put it in your little basket. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting this off and put it in the basket and show you the next steps. Okay, here I'm almost done. As you can notice here, there's like a big bruise on the potato. What do you do? Do you just don't mind keep on cutting and eating? I don't do that. I use the edge of my knife. and just pluck it up. You see how deep that is? Let me just cut this off. You see, so I don't... I just throw that portion away. In a moment, I'm gonna talk about some of the health benefits for potatoes. And a tip, when you, you know sometimes when you're cutting potatoes and your potatoes get stuck to the cutting board? Use this handy little scraper and just pick them up. Put them in your pot. Always being careful not to cut your fingers. As you can see, as much as the potatoes I have, I think I may do maybe two more after this one. Or maybe one more, I don't know yet. Maybe I'll, I'll do two little ones. Now you could use uh, these potatoes in a wrap after they're done, of course, the whole dish. After it's cooked, you can make it in a wrap, you put it on a burrito. Just on a, I don't know, multi-purpose, you just eat it as it is. Or you could eat it as a taco, you don't have a tortilla, and put it in as a filling. Super delicious. So this is what I'm doing here, just filling some of the stripes to keep some of the skin. Of course, I help this way, just keep the skin. Now if you don't have a scraper, you could also go like this, but be very careful not to cut yourself. I'll recommend a scraper rather. Mm. 
And amazingly, these potatoes are going to steam with only one cup of water on a low medium heat, like on a six, for about 15 20 minutes. So, be right back. So, here I'm almost done with my potato. <laughs> like I said before, I don't edit my videos. They are raw as you hear and see them. There's a little leftover potato. So this is as much as potatoes I have. Now if you feel that they still need to be cleansed, go ahead and rinse it off. And get it ready. Now I want to talk about a little bit about the health benefits of eating potatoes. They say that it's anti-inflammatory, it helps reduce the cancer cells, it helps with your heart, with the bones, and it's an excellent carbohydrate. A lot of people are afraid of carbohydrates. I don't know why they think that they gain weight and all this stuff, but look, it proves to be the opposite. And like I always say, go ahead and Google it. Go ahead and search it out, and you'll see Prove me wrong, this is what I say. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get one cup and bring it over to the stove. So here I have my little pot. It has no water yet. And here are my potatoes. But before I put it, yeah, I have to put the water. And one thing I want to show you that I almost did the four pounds of the potatoes. Just had two left over, but it couldn't fit. I know once I put the lid on, this is not going to fit. So let's go ahead and put one cup of water. Okay, so we're going to put two of this because it's half a cup measuring cup. Oh, that's a little. There we go, a little bit more than one cup. And then we have the potatoes. <coughs> Pardon me. And then I'm going to put the lid on. There we go. And right now it is 5.37. So about 15 minutes in medium heat. Okay, I'm going to put it right now. Which is about level six. There we go. So then you're just gonna let that steam all the way through. After 15 minutes, you go ahead and lift up the lid and put some, um, get a fork and pierce the potato and see if it's done. And what you can do right now. Let's put some salt, and the salt that I'm always talking about is the Himalayan salt. You might want to put a little dash if you want to. If not, it always gets seasoned afterwards. So, then I'll be right back after this is completely steamed. So we could uh, put everything together. 